ഇനി ശ്രവണകൽവി പരിമിതർക്കായുള്ള വാർത്ത കാണാം Hello and welcome you're watching the news for hearing impaired I am Nancy Kohli and with me is Manisha let's begin with the headlines The nation celebrates 73rd Independence Day today unfurling the national flag from the ramparts of the Red Fort Prime Minister Modi says that the decision on Article 370 is a step above politics and in the interest of the nation He says now every Indian can proudly say one nation one constitution The Prime Minister says that now the idea of one nation, one election should be debated. Fulfilling a long pending demand of integrating all the three forces under a unified command, Prime Minister Modi announces creation of the Chief of the Defence Staff. Prime Minister Modi announces Jal Jeevan Mission with an allocation of 3.5 lakh crore rupees. He says it is unfortunate that so many people lack the access to water even after 70 years of independence. The Prime Minister says tackling water scarcity is the top priority for the government. Prime Minister Modi highlights the need for awareness and discussion on population explosion. identifies it as a huge challenge before the nation he says having a small family is an act of patriotism president ramnath kovind pays homage to brave hearts at the national war memorial says the recent change in jammu and kashmir and ladakh would give the people access to same rights and privileges as their fellow citizens in the rest of the country urges the people to remember with gratitude the sacrifices of the countless freedom fighters and revolutionaries Jammu and Kashmir and Leh fervently celebrate the independence day the celebrations proceed peacefully across the Kashmir valley governor Satyapal Malik unfolds tricolor to an enthusiastic response in Srinagar Seventy third Independence Day being celebrated across the country with chief ministers unfurling the tricolor in the state capitals across the country. Our top story: the nation is celebrating the seventy third Independence Day today. Prime Minister Modi led the nation in celebrating the Independence Day at the majestic Red Fort. The Prime Minister unfurled the national flag and delivered the customary address to the nation from the ramparts of the iconic monument. This was Prime Minister Modi's sixth consecutive address to the nation. Addressing the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort, Prime Minister Modi justified the decision on Article 370. He said the decision on Article 370 is a step which is beyond politics and in the interest of the nation. He further said that now every Indian can proudly say one nation one constitution. The Prime Minister once again strongly justified his government's decision to enact a law banning triple talaq adding that when the nation can unitedly fight against social evils such as dowry and female feticide it can also condemn a practice like triple talaq Prime Minister Modi also had a special mention on the efforts to conserve water from the ramparts of the red fort the prime minister announced a mammoth exercise the jal jeevan mission encompassing various aspects of water conservation and ensuring the availability of water to the citizens the scheme envisages dedicated provision of 3.5 lakh crores in the coming years on the occasion of 73rd independence day today president ramnath kovind visited the national war memorial to pay homage to brave hearts who made the supreme sacrifice for the country Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartman of the Indian Air Force will be conferred the Veer Chakra on Independence Day today. Veer Chakra is the third highest honor after the Paramveer Chakra and the Mahavir Chakra. Wing Commander Vartman was captured by the Pakistani army on 27th February after his jet was shot down in a fight with the Pakistani jets during the aerial combat. 
before his jet was hit he downed an f-16 fighter of pakistan Vartaman was released on the night of 1st March by Pakistan after India mounted intense international pressure. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of the news. Thanks for being with us.